I love my hat so much. Good morning team. It is the morning of the hike. It is 4.15 in the morning. We have to be up super early for breakfast and we're leaving here at 5am. Got heaps of new stuff from the shops that I thought I would show you that I'm going to pack. Got snacks, gloves, sunscreen, important, and a head torch. And I'm really enthusiastic about trying all these new snacks. So that's cool. We're going to go to breakfast now. In reception and I've made a friend who's teething apparently and just wants to buy everything that I own. Puppy! Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's like a little shark. I'm gonna call it Jaws. You are now Jaws. Naomi, what are we doing? You look so enthusiastic. <laughs> look at this. Where? Hola! <laughs> We are on the bus now and we are on our way to the start of the hike to Machu Picchu. We just got to the beginning of the hike. The sun is just about to come up. It is very cold. This is the view. First stop of the hike and we've been walking up a hill. It feels like you've been walking for half an hour even in the first two minutes because of the altitude. It's so intense. But here we are right now. We have made another discovery and it is this beautiful dog that's come racing out to greet us on our next little stop. You're so sweet and I love you. What a gentle dog. Hi. Come on. Aww, I love you. Okay, this is our third stop. We have stopped at a school and just regrouping, but up the very top there, that is where we will be hiking to and we're following this little zigzag road all the way up. past seven now it actually feels like 9 a.m. we've just taken a little stop going up the hill so I, we could put sunscreen on get our hats out because the Sun is out now and it's very very blatantly obviously on my face okay so I just got to the top of like a very steep staircase thing my cardiovascular is just ah. squads catching up we have nicknames now Naomi is Ranger because red Power Ranger with the headband Ben's Top Gun because he's always been Top Gun, he has no say. And we're yet to decide. This is the view at the moment. It's beautiful. And we have a waterfall going all the way from there down. Yum, yum. Oh my gosh, I did not see this. Wow. You can feel the spray of the water hitting your yeah. face and it's amazing. We have agreed that you can't choose your own nickname like Badge has done in the past. Everyone has to choose a nickname for you, then you can tick it off for approval. So I'm currently Wallaby, Top Gun, Candid. We've changed from, from Ranger because it's like a photo thing. This is so beautiful. So I'm at the top of the waterfall and the the spray is hitting me heaps and it's getting my camera a bit wet. I'm going to turn off my vlogging for a tiny bit because I've only got this one battery. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. We trekked super fast so we could get ahead of the really, really big American group and get photos, <laughs> but it looks amazing and my breath is gone. Wow, it's about 9 a.m. We have decided to stop at this spot here because there's a massive American group of high schoolers. There's probably about like 30 of them. So we're gonna let them pass us so that we can enjoy our time more instead of going to a certain location and then having 30 people catch up and take photos and carry on. Got a little bit of dark chocolate that I'm snacking on. Good day, mate. Good day. That was quite good. Naomi's. Australian accent is There's a question. shark in the water. Naomi can't do an Australian accent and that just annoys me because yeah. she makes fun of my British accent. I mean English, English accent. And But she can't do an Australian accent. So don't pick on my accent. There's a shark in the water. So this is the group of American people that we are politely avoiding. But there's two Aussies. 
G'day, mate. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Damn straight. This is Esther and Zach. They're from Brisbane. We just ran into them randomly. So I've got some Aussie friends. There's a donkey. Guys, there is a little baby donkey and it is adorable. I want to die. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. I want to throw up and kill myself. Is that extreme? Maybe. So we literally just walked from this point up to here and the altitude is crazy. This view is beautiful and the waterfall is just amazing. So we've just stopped for a wee little bit of a break, but I just wanted to point out to you guys, all these trees here are actually eucalyptus trees, which are native to Australia, but they have them growing all around this area for firewood. So it smells exactly like home. So there you go. It's a light show. Fun little fact for you. Anne and I ran away from the majority of the group, even though our, our leader is like, come back. And we're like, no, but this view. So we've raced up to see this amazing, it's beautiful. Smile for the camera. Fantastic. It's so gorgeous. And then there's this little creek stream running through on the side of this amazing little building. We have stopped at this really cool site. G'day Zach, zooming in on your, your noggin there. I'm actually really hungry, so I'm gonna have my cocoa leaf cookies. Cocoa leaf cookies? I don't know. They just look really interesting, so I thought I'd try them. And I've got this amazing view in front of me. It should be amazing. It's about 11.30 now. We have decided it's time to go to our campsite. We have a lot of free time. I regret not bringing my book, but hopefully we can do some fun stuff. This is Elvis. He's amazing Hello. and he is one of our guides. We just got to the campsite. Super out of breath. Like I said, you walk like 100 meters and it feels like you've walked 10Ks. It's seriously so hard. Here is our campsite. There's a few tents and our stuff. Okay, it is lunchtime. This is our lunch setup, which is, I'm convinced, is glamping. Misha, say hi. We have a lunch guest. What should we name him? Do you think he has a name? I think Scruffy. You look a bit scruffy. Love to see him run scruffy! We have the most amazing lunch. We have a chicken salad. Look at this rice with the olive. And this is like French toast. Good morning, everybody. It is like 6 a.m. We were up at 5. I stopped vlogging last night because I just wanted a bit of a break because I need a break sometimes and we just ended up having a nap and then we played card games, had dinner and it was all very good. Slept like a baby last night which was nice and the view is incredible. Oh, not Top Gun though. That view. We have breakfast now at 6 and then we'll be doing a three hour hike up, a three hour hike flat, and then a three hour hike down. It's gonna be insane. P.S. My new gloves saved my life last night and they're incredible because I've got fingerless so I could like use my iPod and then I could mitten so that was super warm and it was amazing. We have just been hiking for, I don't know, 20 minutes. The altitude is just like messing you up. Look at these little horses. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, where's my breath? The sun is finally coming out over the mountain and it's gonna warm us up. Oh, Ye delicious. delicious. <laughs> I stumbled across this stream and there's icicles in it because it got really cold and it looks so pretty! We just got up to a pretty high point. High fives. Oh, okay. And I think it's sunscreen time. It's about eight o'clock now. This is the view so far. Oh, and Anne. G'day, mate. <laughs> I love so Good day. <laughs> good, good day. These are our horses carrying all our tent stuff and things for us. 
Oh. We were at, I don't know, checkpoint three? Four? No idea. We've just reached the top of this little segment. All the way over there, you can see our horses taking up our stuff to the next campsite. So we will also be walking all the way up that ridge and then hopefully it's downhill from there. just reached the top of the peak that I pointed out to you earlier and now it literally looks like a desktop wallpaper you know when you get like your laptop for the first time and they have that automatic wallpaper that's what this looks like yeah it's Windows XP but like brown and not green <laughs> sorry I keep not breathing properly but we are 4,200 meters above sea level oh my goodness just your this is just your normal Sunday afternoon hike, you know. Look, there's a cow! In other news, we reached the top of that mountain and there's more hills behind us. So that's fantastic. How are you feeling, Top Gun? Minging. Good, that's a great British English term, I don't know. Anyway, fun fact, that mountain over there with the snow on it is the highest point in Cusco. So we are super high up. That's why I don't have any oxygen to talk with. It is quarter to 10 now, so we're estimating to get to our final campsite at about five. I wanna see how close I can get to the cows. Oh wait, that's a bull. Maybe this is a bad idea. Potentially a bad idea. I'm gonna stop walking up to them because that guy, he might get a bit angry. Okay. So I'm the first one to reach the top of the peak and oh my goodness, I had the biggest surprise because it's just so beautiful. All right team, so we just had a photo shoot at the top of the mountain and now we are hiking for lunch and it's relatively flat so I can talk to you okay. Hey Naomi. Nice color coordinated outfit. Girl. Girl. Say hi, Top Gun. <laughs> What's happening, chaps? Just reached our little temporary campsite for lunch. And that is our little dining tent. We are so lucky. I honestly didn't think we were gonna be glamping this hard. We have been very lucky and we have been getting a tent toilet. And this is the view of the toilet. It's just unbelievable. Alrighty, so it is about 12.30 in the afternoon. Just had lunch, super windy, big cold. Everyone is exhausted because we have just done so much hiking. We approximately have five hours left of the hiking. Okay, so we hiked for about 15, 20 minutes. We've been listening to reggae music at the front of the hiking crowd. Elvis loves reggae. Okay, so we have just reached this most amazing location. We have this over here. Next minute you turn around, then you got that. It's just, wow. Here's the rest of the squad rolling through. Quick hiking update. I am miles ahead from everybody else, but I really enjoy listening to my music and being ahead and having like a clear path. I think it's really like meditative. I was going so quick, I overtook the porters. The horses in front are off lead and they respond to the calls of the porters behind them. Here's the rest of my team catching up. I'm really enjoying listening to the Red Dead Redemption soundtrack, especially like the acoustic songs. There's one called Compass and one called Far Away and they're just like so fitting and it's beautiful. Ah, I'm so happy.
Okay, I can't really breathe well, but Laura Gilbert, as always, going the extra mile, has climbed up this extra bit of mountain and has found these amazing constructions. These rocks are stacked so neatly and they're actually like an offering or a presentation to the god um, or gods. I don't know too much about it, but I am very glad that I hiked up here. Okay, it's three o'clock. We are making our way down. No more uphill. Yay! Top Gun. I feel like I'm in a dinosaur lair. This is so Jurassic and awesome and incredible. It's like, wow! No words again. I forgot how to words, but it is very steep and slippery. Hey team. It is ridiculously steep coming down here and we keep slipping and falling over. Demonstration please Top Gun. Yeah, annoying. So it's super slow. I regret not having hiking poles and we're going all the way down there. All right, this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. So we made it from all the way up there. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. My personal hell, I am so clumsy. I nearly fell over about at least 10 times. And now we are here. We have to hike across the mountain to the sun gate and then down this path to our tents that are right down there. So that's the game plan. Top Gun and I are speeding ahead and we want to get to the sun gate ASAP. So we've gone all the way from there and we're trying to get to there. But luckily it's flat now. We had heaps of rockiness and I felt like a mountain goat. So now we just, we're donkeys. Okay, we are nearly at the sun gate and time sensitive because the sun is nearly kind of going-ish down. I am assuming the sun gate's over there. So we're just kind of winging it now. Anne and I have decided to power through before the sun goes down and there it is. Oh my gosh, amazing. Yay! the audio is going to be terrible because there's so much wind here but my camera has like nearly run out of battery basically we're going back to the campsite having dinner going to sleep so I will try and vlog stuff on my phone if need be Dog meat. Dog meat. Is that the bridge? Yeah, I think so. We made it! Okay, dog meat, lead the way. Well, I definitely know it's safe because you crossed it and dog meat's crossed it. But, oh my god, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Alright, let's go. So, we're going to the bridge. That's like our last checkpoint. And then we're kind of done. Also, I just wanted to say I haven't really vlogged properly today because my camera ran out of battery, but I did get some good footage on my iPhone, so that's what I've been using this morning, so the quality and audio quality might be a bit different, but at least you guys are updated. And now, Dogmeat and I are at the bridge. Yay! Made it finished. So happy. You see my smile. Getting little words. <laughs> Are you sunscreening me? Oh, hey, Naomi. Oh, 
gosh, the sun is destroying my face. Hey, Misha. <laughs> hey, photo. Oh, that's my face. Envelope. Okay. End vlog. End vlog. And the camera is blurry. I don't care. I'm not refilming. Okay, end vlog. End vlog. Waterfall edition. Hello. <laughs> Nisha came up with a. Are end we ending vlog? End vlog. End vlog. End vlog. Okay. Do you want to say it? End vlog. End vlog, chaps. <laughs>